Hmm. All right. So this is a uh, Subaru rear uh, trailing arm or uh, control arm, whatever you want to call it. I call it a trailing arm, but either or. This one I just pulled out of my uh, 96 Subaru Impreza Outback, and this is from a 99 Legacy. It's uh, just a bit longer than the, Impre uh, than the Impreza, and a bit higher. Um, I've already swapped out the, um, the struts on this, so all the struts are from a 99 Legacy. Um, I just had to, um, and, the, and the, by the way, the wheels are from a 99 Legacy, so the wheels are much bigger. They're 295s compared to uh, 195, 70 for these cars, but um, they work just fine. Um, you just have to, um, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna have to replace pretty much, um, you know everything in the rear uh, the front fits too fits perfectly but uh, you're gonna have some issues with the, the size of the wheel being too wide and too big so you don't do your um, wheel alignment and every time you turn left or right it will hit either inside the wheel well the rear and the front so you'll have to do the um, wheel alignment camber and the toe ends and the toe, and the toe. Um, other than that, they work just fine. Um, the front's almost complete. The only thing I have to do now, I have to pull out the um, Legacy's um, inner tie rod. I'm gonna replace it with this one because mine is bad, but uh, still does fine. So I'm gonna replace the rear right passenger with the Legacy um, to center my wheels. And at the same time, to change the angle, being that the uh, the struts are a lot more higher and, and taller than the original um, struts that, that are already bad. They were so bad, they were so old that I had to replace them. And luckily I have a donor car, my neighbor's car, it's a 99 Legacy. So everything pretty much fits, except that the top mount for the rear top mount uh, bracket is different so you'll have to uh, swap that out what you got to do compress and then change the top and then and plug and play um, so today I'll be replacing the uh, the uh, trailing arm and the uh, I believe it's the uh, stabilizer no I think it's a stabilizer but um so it's uh, pretty much it. it's bolt on but I Instead of um, taking out the uh, the bushing area, which is uh, these these guys right here, the inside portion of it, as you can tell, this is better. And mine is simply gunky and uh, messed up, and it's short. So time to go. I would the old, it would the new. So instead of uh, taking these out, I just simply bypassed it and just took out the whole damn thing. It's just so much easier. You know, than having to uh, unbolt these because if you're working on the ground like I am, you know, you're not going to have a lot of space for uh, ratchets and, you know, not a lot. So, you know, your, uh, your space and movement will be, uh, you know, restricted. So, just bypass it. Use an impact. These bolts are um, size uh, 17s on the impact sockets. And then the uh, brackets for the uh, speed sensors are 12s so you just need to have one of those and um, pipes short pipes long pipe if you already don't have a uh, breaker bar that'll be just that and then uh, to mount this I'm just gonna have to use my jack to uh, push it up I'm gonna slide the bolt in um, and uh, yeah so what I did how I took this out the bolt for the bottom is I took it from the back instead of taking it from the front so you'll have to um, have a uh, size what is it uh, 17 17 wrench or a uh, 17 socket go in the back impact the sucker out of it but make sure you guys lube it up first all right because half of this time you've never been under the car so you'll have to um, soak it in um, PB blaster 
WD-40 just won't do. I switched over to PB Blaster because they just work a hell of a lot more better than WD-40. I've been a D-40 fan. Um, but I'm just going to have to do it up, man. So, anywho, um, well, that's it for now. I'll show you guys the rest once I finish the installation. Gotcha. Bye.